Hello everyone, it's Ted Lawler from If Only They Knew, the hub for young business minds. And today I've got something quite different because in each episode of the podcast and all of the blogs I've written over the past two to almost three years now, um, I've been lucky enough to hear the advice of some great young business minds and young entrepreneurs from across Britain. So I thought, why not put it all together? Um, yeah, drag some of the best best pieces of advice I can drag them and put them into a nice little compilation for you guys. So yeah, let's not delay it any further. Go ahead and listen to this compilation of the best advice from young entrepreneurs and business minds from across the UK. Firstly, I'd say, make sure you're not just doing it for the sake of the, you know, the clout in inverted commas. Yeah. Like, you've got to actually be doing it. And then two, in terms of starting a business, if that is your path, then I'd say, um, literally, don't chase. When you start a business, and everyone does this don't think right where can i make money what's there to be made money on what you've actually got to do is scrap all the money thing and i know it sounds cliche but find something you actually are passionate about find something you actually like and then go from there because you're so much more likely to work those 15 16 hour days when it gets to that point if you like something but if you are going into something just for the sake of money or something like that it's just not sustainable to get that to that top one percent what people claim to to want you know, we often blame everything. We blame our job, we blame the weather, we blame, you know, um, the money, we blame so many things, but we need to take responsibility. And when we do that, and you know that you are the, the only responsible for your own happiness and what you're doing right now, if you're not happy, then that's you doing it to you. Yeah. You know, so if I can inspire somebody knowing that, you know, she's come from nothing, from being homeless, from not even speaking as you know the, the language to doing all of these things yeah it took me 18 years to get from that to from a to b mm. and in between i had a lot of struggles but it's just understanding that you can do it anyone can do it a lot of people say to me oh i'm too old and i'm like no you know you can become a doctor at 50 years old if you want to you know mm. you still have another 40 years in your life my number one piece of advice to anyone with any kind of project that they have that's close to their heart is to understand one very specific piece of perspective. And that is that no matter how important that project is to you, it's not the most important one you'll ever work on. The most important project you will ever work on is yourself. And it's also the most difficult project that you will ever work on, but that is a good thing. That means it's an opportunity to learn, to grow, to become who you really want to be and to make a life that's exciting for you. And the reason why it's so important to understand that is because you will be working on that project, whether you like it or not, for the rest of your life. I mean, everyone compares their, themselves to other people. Like, it's inevitable that you're going to compare yourself to other people. But actually, as soon as you stop comparing, as soon as you stop giving a shit what other people think and you just do something, then you're going to be happier. You know, three years ago, four years ago, I was saying, my friends were saying to me, why are you not going straight to university? Why are you working on a Friday and Saturday night? Come to the pub. Like, why are you doing all of these things? Whereas if you just go out and do it, um, then it will happen. So and if you compare yourself to other people, then you're never going to be better than them because you're always going to be one step behind. Exactly. I think everyone's on their own path, which is important to know. And think, you know what? It's just an experiment. Didn't work this time. What didn't work? Probably don't do that again. Mm. What, what, what can I take forward? You know, take that. And that's kind of how you run businesses. That's how you get better in life and grow as a person. But if you're not given that opportunity, that then all you face when you actually hit that bump in the road is like, oh my God, I'm going to panic, I'm going to be stressed. <laughs> like, oh crap. <laughs> and it's like, you know, we, we've, got, we, we've got to let ourselves fail, you know, we, and we've got to let ourselves think negatively sometimes. It's, mm. it's not all positive. And our life is like, you know, it's like an ECG. Our heart's constantly up and down. That's, that's what life's like. That's what business is like. Mm. Nothing's ever a straight line up. Don't listen to people who give you bad advice. Don't listen to people who tell you that you can't do it. If you have inherently inside of you that feeling of, I can do this, I'm gonna do this, don't even tell people, just do it anyway. That is the best bit. There are gonna be times when you do something and you fail miserably, but that's okay. Because when you fail, you learn the greatest lessons, yeah? 
I remember my first business, my first proper business, I'd spent like 10 grand, which I didn't have, um, 10 grand, just try my best to make it work. And it, it didn't, it just didn't work and it failed and I was gutted. But that taught me so many lessons. It made me up my game. It made me realize that, right, I can't just go into this winging it. I've got to learn more. Hey mate, it's Adam. Um, Instagram A underscore Davis underscore blog. Um, seeing your story, so what I'd say my advice would be is to be yourself. Um, I will elaborate into this because that's quite vague. Um, which is basically, don't change your ideas uh, or content to someone else's. Um, never follow trends. Have your own trend. Um, have your own personality because you do. At the end, end of the day, you all, we all have our own personalities. So if you're eccentric, show that you're eccentric in your content, in your videos, in your in your business. Um, if you're ambitious, show that in your content, videos or business. Um, whatever you're selling, whatever you're trying to promote, um, show your personality through that. Let, let it shine through. Um, Sorry, I don't know, that sounded a bit cringy, um, but yeah, like basically just be yourself through the whole thing. So my success formula is this, right? Vision, everything starts with vision in your mind. You must vision it here. See it on your mind before you can hold it in your hand. Number two is feel. You have to feel it. I feel every moment, right? I saw it. I used to repeat every night. You're a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner. Joseph, you're hired. Joseph, you're hired with the finger. Joseph, you're hired. Feeling what that would feel like. And then yeah. you speak it, yeah? So it's um, vision, feel, speak. And then I used to say, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, non-stop. And then finally, number four, this is a step to um, law of attraction success, is believe it. Okay, you have to believe. Listen, when they knew that I was going on the show, my family, and I couldn't tell many people, they were like, whoa, how has this guy got on there, yeah? And um, I used to say to my mum, next time you see me, I remember that when they dropped me off at the training station, so I went away for nine weeks, I was 25. I said, so listen, mum, when you next see me, I'm going to be the winner. To find someone or some people that resonate with you, have the same values as you, and are in a position that you would like to be in the future, um, trying to have a hundred voices, telling the, because everyone offers different opinions, different insights, um, but pick a few people and listen to everything they say, follow it as much as you can, read books on, on different subjects that you're not maybe great in. So um, a great book I read was Oversubscribed by Daniel Priestley, which talks about um, how having um, an audience of a hundred is more powerful than having an audience of, of a million. And um, so that was really powerful. So just educate yourself. With visualizations, yeah, when I say everything gets made twice, first this idea is a fault, then that side here is a thing. We have to create our goals inside here. So I'm in California every morning, California every night, visualizing my TV shows every morning, every night. They all, things are starting to, things are coming into reality, you know? I've already created the, the, the retreat, it's in yeah. Spain, but I want to see it in California. So you have to create this vision because the unconscious mind doesn't know what's real and what isn't, Ted. So as you visualize your future, your, your unconscious I'm not sure what, what isn't. So when you close your eyes and visualize your future, it creates this image and you create the emotion of what you're seeing. Mm. About 34%. Yeah. And you practice this. So people close their eyes and start to smile. So I get people overweight. I go, how, how often do you visualize yourself in the future? And they'll go overweight. People will go, I don't. Or some of them go, yeah, I do it all the time. I go, oh, do you? I do you now. And I know they don't. So there we have it, people. That was my collection of my favorite piece of advice from people that I've had the pleasure of speaking to over the past year or so. The majority of those clips came from my podcast. Um, so if you have a minute, go to your favorite podcast app, type in If Only They Knew, and every week you'll have the pleasure of listening to a conversation with a young entrepreneur, whether they're somebody you may not have heard of or whether they're candidates from The Apprentice we try and cover it all on the If Only They New podcast. And there's also a solo episode, much like this one you're listening to every Wednesday. So yeah, subscribe to that, please. And yeah, join, join the team. It's growing massively. So yeah, be part of the journey. Thanks, guys.